Hello, today a quick React tutorial about how to call child component function. So let's see in the code. We have a parent component here, that is this purple box. And inside we have a child, that is a separate component here. And we have a button inside parent. And this button doesn't do anything, it doesn't have any on click or something, it just says uh, show child name. But it doesn't do any, uh, it doesn't do anything if I click on it. But uh, inside child, let's see what we, do we have here. Inside child we have a div with a button that has an uh, on click event, show my name, and it has show my name here. And when we click on it, it runs this function show my name inside the child component, and it. Uh, throws an alert, my name is Timmy. So when I click on this button, it shows uh, my name is Timmy, okay? But if I click on this button, it doesn't do anything because it doesn't have any on-click property. So the thing is how we can do that when you click on this button, it does the same thing as this, just, an, uh, just as an example. When we click on this button, we want to do the same that uh, this button does. So we want our child function to return some information to our parent. So how we can do this? First, let's define a reference to our child. So let's do const and uh, let's call this one child ref. And it will be use ref. And we created a reference for our child. So now let's pass it here, reference equals child reference. All right, so now we have reference to our child that we can use inside parent. But now we need to transform our child so it will return some information to the parent. So how can we do this? First, we need to transform our component to use a hook called the forward reference. We can just import it here forward reference and if we wrap our function with this forward reference then we can gain access to our child components so let's do this let's do forward reference and let's open parentheses here and let's close parentheses here right and nothing has changed yet but now as always the first param here uh, of a component is props but the second is actually reference all right so this is actually a reference for our child component so what can we do with it we can use here a hook that is called use imperative handle use imperative handle and it has been imported for me here so uh, you probably need to add it and then here as you can see the first param will be a reference and the second param is actually a function so i will do a arrow function that returns a object of data so for example i can do that uh, i will return a function for example show name and it will return a show my name like this and now I tell that uh, with my reference on the child use it and return this data so return show my show name as show my name so now let's add it to our button inside the parent component so let's do on click and now we have a reference to our child so I do child reference and as always with references we do current and then we can use this data that we are returning here so we are returning only show name so let's do just show name and now let's just make it as an arrow function like this so now when we click this button it still shows uh, the child name my name is timmy but even if we click on this button show the child name it also does the same thing so we are creating a reference for our child and we are passing this reference 
uh, the child component is wrapped with forward reference. And as with all components, we have props as the first param, and then we have this reference to the component. And with this reference, we are calling React hook called use imperative handle, where the first param is the reference, and the second param is a function that returns an object of data. And in our example, the only data we have is a function that we return. The function is called show name, and it runs just a show my name function inside this child component. So with having the access to show name, this is just an alias to show my name, we can get this reference here. We get the current state and then we just call show name. And this way we are running show my name on the child component. You can also return any other type of data. You can return state or anything you want here. You just do enter and pass any property name and value that you just want to pass to your parent component. And uh, that's it.